The sights and sounds of camp, a place for renewal and recreation, a place for refuge and retreating, a place where God, nature, and you meet and your life is forever changed. But what if this change is not positive? What if this change actually becomes an awful memory because you or someone you know experienced a sexually abusive encounter with someone you thought you could trust? Well, this hour-long training video, which includes both instruction and time for discussion and review, will help all who watch. So let's get started. The purpose of this training video is to provide all staff, counselors, volunteers, and church leadership with a clear understanding of how to recognize symptoms, reduce situations, and report sexual abuse or molestation while at camps. You see, prevention is a priority for the protection and safety of our children, our churches, and our camps. This video is divided into four segments with a time for review at the end of each segment. Take time to discuss and review statements or questions before advancing to the next segment. The segments are the definitions and effects of sexual abuse and child molestation, typical patterns and methods of operation of a child molester, signs, symptoms, and reporting of suspected sexual abuse, recommended procedures to reduce prevent and report suspected abuse or molestation of campers. In this first segment, we will define and identify sexual abuse and the effects of child abuse. The precise legal definition of child sexual abuse or molestation well, it varies from state to state, but in general, it includes any form of sexual abuse to which a minor is being used for the sexual stimulation of the perpetrator. In this training, the terms molestation and sexual abuse are used interchangeably. From the Texas Administrative Code, child, a person under 18 years of age who is not and has not been married or who has not had the disabilities of minority removed for general purposes. Sexual abuse, any sexual activity, including any involuntary or non-consensual sexual conduct that would constitute an offense under the Penal Code 21.08 or Chapter 22, involving a facility and a patient or client. Sexual activity includes, but is not limited to, kissing, hugging, stroking or fondling with sexual intent, oral sex or sexual intercourse, and request, suggestion, or encouragement for the performance of sex. Child sexual abuse may be violent or nonviolent. Here are some types of child abuse. Physical abuse includes bodily harm or injury caused by blows or harmful substances, as well as exposure to unreasonable risk of harm or injury. Emotional and psychological maltreatment attacks a child's self-image, often through labels and ridicule. Neglect is the failure to provide for a child's physical, medical, emotional, and safety needs. Sexual abuse can occur through showing and communicating, as well as through touching. Not only forced activity, but also permission and persuasion can be abusive. Non-touching sexual abuse offenses include Touching sexual offenses include Other types of abuse, abandonment and threats of harm. Child sexual abuse or molestation is criminal behavior that involves children and sexual behaviors for which they are not personally, socially, and developmentally ready. Studies by child development experts have stated 
Abuse and neglect may affect children's physical, cognitive, emotional, and social development, resulting in aggressiveness, anxiousness, the inability to control emotions, depression, and learning difficulties, among other problems. It goes on to say victims of child abuse often suffer from inability to trust, which leads to problems in relationships, feelings of guilt, anger, and low self-esteem, a tendency towards alcohol and drug abuse, eating disorders, suicidal thoughts, and suicide. These effects continue long after the abuse has stopped, even into adulthood. Victims of child abuse also tend to engage in criminal activity at a higher rate than the general population, more likely than others to engage in risky sexual behavior. However, the greatest loss to society comes from lost innocence, lost hope, lost joy, lost potential. But in the life of a child, it may mean loss of faith and trusting God.